we're actually talking to clients about increasing their 401k contribution. You know you're buying it at a discount now, it's on sale, so now's a great time to be going in. We all wish we were buying the market in March 2009. In the last week of March, over six million people filed for unemployment insurance and claims rose in all 50 states. Now, there are a lot of questions about coronavirus that can't be answered right now, but there are things you can do immediately to protect your finances during this pandemic. To start, can you just tell me three things people can do right now to cut costs? The first step is cutting expenses. Everything has to be negotiable at this point. So get your expenses to the bare bones limit. Any bills that you can delay or go on minimum payments with credit cards, um, anything you can do to preserve your cash is the next thing. Then three is, especially if you've lost your job, knowing where you can get your income, knowing your um, unemployment benefits, also government benefits that might be available to you as well. What should millennials be doing about their retirement savings? The best thing is to stay the course, um, leave your investments as they are and we're actually talking to clients about increasing their 401k contributions because you know you're buying it at a discount. We all wish we were buying the market in March 2009. What about student loans? We take a balanced approach to student loans no matter what market environment we're in. Definitely make your minimum monthly payments, but also build up your savings. And you can see what's happened now with the stimulus package is that um, they've delayed payments, they've, they've delayed interest charges for six months. I think the average uh, student has over $25,000 of student loan debt. It's gonna take some time to pay that down. It's gonna be a journey, and there's a lot of other things you're gonna do on that journey rather than pay down student loans. How much do you advise people to have saved before they consider investing more right now? We're definitely in a recession-like place and the average recession lasts about 13 months. So that's a great point. In times like this, we actually are looking at, at clients having six to 12 months. We definitely in recession times want to have even more uh, emergency funds available. Millions of Americans are wading through the unemployment process as we speak. So what's your advice for those people who've just lost their only source of income? For credit cards um, and things like that, we want you to try at least make your minimum monthly payments. Uh, rent or mortgages, we're going to tell you if a mortgage to go and um, uh, and talk to your lenders. Um, I know in certain states like New York, you have a 90 day reprieve on mortgage payments. Um, I would do the same thing with your landlords for rent. The best thing I can tell you is everything you do financially is fixable. Take a deep breath and know that whatever decisions you make, um, they're all gonna be fixed over a period of time.